3D Garfield Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everybody! In today's video I'm going to be showing you a 3D Garfield that has a piece of pizza that he's holding out and he's putting into his mouth and his mouth is open so big. I love this design. It reminds me of her. Can I see your really big mouth? Yeah, like that. <laughs> I hope you guys like it as much as I do, and I do have a bunch of other Garfield designs, and I'll put links for them in the description box below, so check those out if you've missed them, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Begin with an overlay of a milky white acrylic. So you just want a color in the background that isn't going to be too distracting from the design because there is so much going on with this design that you don't want the background to be a whole new layer of distraction. So just a nice acrylic overlay, then I'm going to file that into shape with my e-file. Starting out with a coarse bit to remove any bulk, and then switching over to a finer bit to refine the surface texture. The great thing, I think, with using an e-file, especially for a coffin or a square shape, is that you can really make the free edge of that nail perfect with an e-file. At least I can. It's something that you have to practice, but once you have it down, it's just so nice to get that crisp, clean line. But then I'm going to start sculpting my Garfield with orange acrylic. I began with a ever so slight oval. It's almost almost a perfect circle, but it's just a little flattened for his belly. And then I'm going to add the one line of his leg coming down and then the other line and add his little feet. So that actually, that second line that I just did is his tail. And I know I said the other line of his foot, but that's his tail. So we're going to add this other leg in a moment. So there's going to be a little bit of his neck. So Garfield doesn't really have too much of a neck. He kind of goes straight from belly to mouth. So we're going to be doing his jawline and then in this design, I have his mouth open really, really, really big. So he's got this huge wide open mouth because he's shoveling in a piece of pizza. So you're going to give a huge gap between that lower jaw and then his upper jaw and the rest of his face. So plan accordingly as you are placing different parts of the design on the nail so that you don't accidentally run out of room to do his head. So we've got the top of his face up there. And if you guys are Garfield fans and you're just like, oh my goodness, I love Garfield. This is the coolest design ever. This isn't my first Garfield design. I've done at least two in the past that I can think of quite a while ago. This was actually a really long time ago. I'm going to say four years ago, maybe longer. I did a Garfield and Odie set. So I'll put a link to those guys in the description box below. And then I also did a hand-painted... Garfield set. So that wasn't the 3D, but still Garfield. So if you guys are all about Garfield, definitely check those out and I'll make sure I put links to them in the description box. So then I'm going to take some bright white acrylic and I'm going to be adding his teeth. This is actually really nice because you can see the difference in the color between the bright white acrylic and the milky white acrylic. And if you don't have a milky white acrylic on hand, which I know I don't, I didn't have one just that I had purchased. It's a very easy color to mix because it, you know, almost everybody's got white acrylic and clear acrylic, so it's not something crazy that you have to go out and even if you don't have that color, you have to get a different color in order to mix it. So for me, I find the perfect ratio is two parts clear to one part white or give or take. It's something like that. It's a little bit more clear than it is white. White is just so pigmented that usually, you know, it's just a little bit more of the clear, but use the colors that you have and test them. The colors I use are Koopa for the clear and the white that I mix to make my milky white. But test your own because your mix might have to be different to get the color that you're trying to achieve. So just test it out and see. So after you mix your color, you know, grab a bead as a tester bead and see if you like it. If you want to know more about mixing acrylic, I have a video on that too. So I can put a link to that in the description box if you're curious and you haven't seen that one yet and you're just like, hmm, mixing acrylic. I've never heard of such a thing. It's just like mixing paint. So if you want to know more, go there. So you're also going to do a little bit of yellow on his cheeks, black in his mouth, white for his eyes. And then on a nail form backing, I'm going to be sculpting that arm that is holding this piece of pizza. So have the little skinny arm stretched out there. And if you want to, if you're not quite as spatially aware and you don't necessarily know for sure if you're going to sculpt this the right size, one thing that I find helps if that's how you're feeling, like, oh my goodness, it's going to be the right size, is it going to look correct, is if you take, if you're making a press on like I am, set that nail next to the piece that you're sculpting on the nail form backing so that you can tell and you can look back and forth to make sure you're sculpting the right size. Or you can draw the whole design out and you could trace the nail before you start working and sketch out the shape of Garfield on your little nail picture. Because if you trace the shape of the nail, that also might help you get him proportionately sized on the nail too. 
just something that can help. And then you'd have the little drawing of the arm with the piece of pizza that you could just sculpt on top of. So two things that can help if you don't feel confident in just sculpting it with no references. But then I'm going to glue that arm holding the piece of pizza onto my Garfield like so until it sets up enough that it's not going to fall off or move on me. And then I'm going to take some clear acrylic underneath the arm just because that glue isn't very secure. It's not going to hold it for very long. It's just a very temporary fix. And I'm also going to layer a little bit of clear acrylic all the way up the back of the pizza to strengthen it so it doesn't crack or break off too easily. And then place some more of the orange acrylic on the arm, blending it into the body so there's not a weird transition. So I'm going to be outlining my Garfield slightly with diluted black paint. And I'm going to take and do his outlines everywhere he needs them. And because Garfield was originally a cartoon or a comic in the newspaper, he has a very certain look to him that a lot of them that are in a newspaper do. And I, you know, it's just something that you kind of have to work on and look at, but there's a lot of little black lines that are used for shading. So you'll see those in a second. There's actually a lot more black lines in somebody like Garfield than in a television cartoon. So when you look at Garfield, it's the same thing with, I'm trying to think of what cartoon I just thought of that is the same way. And now it's, it fled my mind. But there's another cartoon that does the same thing with all the little lines. So there's a little bit, a couple extra lines on his ears. There's a lot of lines on his body, little dashed lines for shading. So as your, oh, Cat in the Hat, that's who I was thinking of. That has the same kind of, Dr. Seuss has the same kind of drawing style as you would typically see in a newspaper comic. So add some little white highlights on his teeth, like so. But then as you start going down his back and his face more, and I usually do all of this at one time, so I'll do all the rest of that outlining. But when you're going down his body, there's these just little flicks of the brush. And my recommendation for doing those is it's too easy to get stuck in your head and try to make those lines perfect, and they don't need to be perfect. You just want to, I'm going to tell you to speed up your working pace, which is going to sound crazy because usually I'm somebody that preaches, you know, take your time, do things slowly, don't rush. But for this, I don't know if you guys can tell, I know my video is sped up, but these lines go fast. So just whip them out, do little teeny tiny strokes of your brush, use a tiny amount of paint on your brush because that's where this can go wrong, but then just do little flick, 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 flick with your brush and get them all on there. doesn't take long, and the faster you go, the better it seems to work out, so good luck. But then after you have that done, I'm going to apply a layer of gel sealer over the background, some matte top coat over Mr. Garfield, and he is done. I love this nail. It's so cute. I always read the Sunday comics with my dad when I was little. Now he's doing with Melody, which is so cute. But I hope you guys like this design and take me in any recreations and I will see you next time. Bye.